This video will show some simple transmitter mixes for the LaBelle glider. For the mixes to work properly, you'll want to make sure that all of your control surfaces are at their neutral positions. If they're not, you're going to want to go into your transmitter and begin to adjust the sub trims. Here with the DX8 transmitter, you can see that I had to make some adjustments to the different positions in order to make them neutral. This is a quick glance of the flap system settings that are used on the three position flap switch. This is the resulting movement I get when I use that switch. These next series of clips show two mixes used in combination to dynamically control both the elevator and the ailerons simultaneously. Both mixes utilize the throttle stick. Mix 1 of this combination is where the throttle stick is set to control the elevator. I've assigned this mix to a three position switch in which position 0 is off and position number 1 is on. The percent that I've used in my example here will be different than what you will ultimately use. The key is that you want the elevator travel to be 0 to 1.5 millimeters up when the throttle stick is pushed full forward from neutral and for it to go down 0 to 1.5 millimeters when the throttle stick is moved from neutral to full back or reverse. Here are the settings for mix 2. Key to this mix is that the DX8 transmitter has been programmed for the LaBelle to have a flapper on wing. With it programmed this way, a single mix where the throttle controls the left aileron will also control the right aileron. If your particular transmitter does not offer wing programming, you will likely have to program yet a third mix in which the throttle controls the right aileron. Mix number two has been assigned to switch positions number one and two. That way, when set to number one, the ailerons and the elevator are controlled simultaneously, whereas when it's set to position two, the throttle stick only controls the ailerons. Like in the previous mix, the percentages I use here may not be the same as the ones you ultimately use. The values you use should result in the kind of motion you see here. You will probably need to do some experimentation on your own to see what works for you, but I've found that movement between 2 and 5 millimeters downward in the flaperons works very well for floaty flight characteristics, whereas having the throttle stick move forward, getting about 2 to 3 millimeters of upward movement of the flaperons in com combination with upward movement of the elevator will give nice characteristics of flying in uh, higher lift conditions. Here's an example of what the plane looks like if being flown using the flap switch settings. This is where the flaps are set to about two to three millimeters down. And um, it can handle some pretty light conditions. Don't mind the girls in the background there. That was completely unintentional. Nonetheless, adds to the wonderful scenery <laughs> of the flying. And so, anyhow, I hope this all works out for you. Give it a shot. I'd be curious to see if uh, your settings are anything like mine. Um, I'm sure there's subtle differences in the way we all have put this together and decorated it, which will influence what settings you ultimately use to make your plane fly the best. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. P.S. The next video will be transmitter mixing for the V22 Osprey. Enjoy.